Hey guys, hope everyone's having a great Friday and in today's video we are going to be talking about how to start a photo booth business with zero no experience, okay? So I like to do these things in the morning and give my advice, uh, so I do have my coffee ready to go um, and I want to thank you guys for taking the time and reiterate, I'm going to tell you how to go to creating a business from start to finish. I'm going to try to cut, condense it to 10 minutes to give you as much value because um, my time is precious as well. So. How would you like to start a side hustle that you can make on average $80,000 a year in profit and you only have to work possibly one to two days a week on the weekends? Sounds pretty good. And this is a little known area that a lot of people have not gotten into yet. And with COVID kind of on the decline, events on the incline, this is the time. This is kind of like the opportunity is striking right now. Um, so I would really highly recommend if you haven't thought of it, start looking into this right now. Now, this is definitely a business where you don't need any prior experience. You, you don't need to be in photography. You don't need um, IT or software. You don't need to be in entertainment before or sales. No prior experience. Anyone can do this. Um, <laughs> I did this, so anybody can do this. If I can do it, you can do it. Um, and to give you guys a little background on where I was, uh, I have worked in promotions though in the, in the field. I, you know, many years ago I worked in bars and clubs and different promotions and I learned how to do, you know, kind of selling in a lot of ways. And then I stumbled into this kind of work. And in the past, there used to be where a, there was a professional photographer that would go to these events. You hire a photographer to do so. And because of technology and automation now you can have a portable photo booth and that can be your photo booth business where it becomes kind of a standalone project that becomes basically a cash machine for you that just keeps coming up every single week with more income um, and you can charge basically between two to hundred to four hundred dollars an hour to do this with specific clients so it can be very 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 lucrative all right um Basically, yeah, you get to leverage all the information I have. And to, as I, I think like a good payment, uh, since I'm giving you guys some free information, if you can, hit the thumbs up, hit the like button. Um, that's all I ask, okay? I know it's cheesy, but that's that's kind of it. That's the only payment right now for currency. Um, so let's talk about what, um, what you need. What do you need to start a photo booth business, okay? So I kind of nailed it down to about nine different things that you'll need for your photo booth business. So if you want to take notes, now's the time. You can always go ahead and rewatch this um, just in case you take notes. I'll always, always include these in the description below as well. But number one, you need a Wix account. You need your own domain and your own website that makes you look more legit. This can cost about $20. Very easy to do. Um, so a $20 Wix account with a free website. Next thing, business email. Once you decide on your name, uh, you can make a $5 business email through G Suite. Super simple to do and it's easy to set up. Number three, a logo. You can easily buy a logo through Fiverr. Now, with Fiverr these days, uh, it's kind of been overdone by getting a logo. So I wouldn't recommend getting like a $5 one. I would recommend getting $15 to $20 to $25 ones. Um, I found in my own experience with different ventures that if you go the $5 route, you're going to get really bad stuff. If you go pay a little bit more premium, you'll get way much better. I would recommend between the $15 to $25 for a key logo. And this is very key to have your logo first before you print out other marketing material. Um, so just a heads up. Number four, cards and flyers. These are gonna be your promotional, this is really your communication tool for promotions and marketing. When you go to events, it's really key so you can get repeat business. Usually when you set these up at events, people come to it because they've never seen it before or they're just excited and want to be there and it's a great area for you to get networking how you expand your network and how you get repeat business and you want something to give them when they ask hey by the way i have a wedding coming up can we use this yes you give them um easily a, basically a card that has all the information they're going to need and make sure you take down their information as well so you can follow up Okay, very key. So make sure when you go to these events, you have a pad of paper on the side or some other way that you can capture your leads um, in person. When you get good enough, and I would recommend after your next, uh, your first event, then you want to think about starting an LLC in your state for $200. Um, this is only after, I, I wouldn't do it right beforehand. I would do it afterward, um, maybe one or two events. Uh, it's very, very easy, but it makes you look more legit. Um, as well as, you know, tax man, you got to make sure you're paying the taxes. 
Number six, you want an email marketing tool. You can get an easy one for $10 a month. Allows you to connect with more clients. I have a special one that I will use, uh, I, I talk about, and I can send up to 200 to 300 emails a day with a simple template to different clients in my local and regional area that gets me continuous events all the time. All the time I'm getting leads. So that's all you need. Next one, number, number seven, photo paper. You want to make sure your own photo paper because you're going to be taking a lot of photos and you want photo paper to print out to give to the people there. Um, so you want to make sure you're having two by four, four by four, six by six type photos for portraits and small ones. Um, you can get this $10 from Amazon. Very simple to do. Number eight, and here comes the, like the big stuff. Number eight, templates. You're going to want to have templates for new clients. And these are templates that are key. So I mentioned before the cold email marketing ways. Um, that's a very good way to go. It's what I've been using. There's other methods you can do, but you want to have some pre-installed templates that you can uh, for expanding both your, your client list, your customer base, your team. If you want to keep scaling up, team and scaling up. Um, if you want, you can go to my Facebook site. Uh, I'll put the description below. You send me an email and I will give you my client template that I have tried and tested for the last few years uh, for maximum response, absolutely free, and we'll even give it a little bit of additional training. So we'll give that completely free. Just go to the Facebook page below. Number nine, the actual photo booth. So here it comes down to really uh, what do you need to look at? So from what we've looked at, there's two really different types of photo booths. There's number one, the iPad-based one that you keep seeing a little bit. And how they do it is it's kind of just an electronic stand. You put the iPad there. Um, so you have to have an iPad first, and then you have to pay a subscription for their software every single month into perpetuity, meaning forever, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, my recommendation is actually the iSelfie booth that we've used. This is a one-stop shop that has a little bit of everything. It has the camera, the printer, uh, the software all pre-installed, so you can just go up and set it up. It's super easy, um, and basically, they give you easy financing. That was the other thing. Where I think it came down to about 10 bucks a day uh, if you do the financing over like a year. Um, but it's a one-time fee, and then once you paid it off, it's, it's yours forever. And if you do one event per month, you're already profitable. So it kind of pays for itself, which is pretty nice. So that's my recommendation. We'll also include that in the description below. Um, next thing, talking about clients. Okay, everything is about getting clients. You want to make sure you're getting clients. How do you get a client? Well, you need to start thinking, put your promoter business hat on. Um, you have to think about who is going to need this at their events. Weddings, promoters, event venues, hotels, galas, graduations, rodeos, bar mitzvahs, running out of fingers, <laughs> sweet 16s, all these different types of events. But the thing, and, and actually in the Facebook group, we'll show you how to do this so a little bit more with a little bit more extra training. Um, the key, excuse me, I'll take a Take a swig. I know, nail biting. The key is to have two to three key clients that give you repeat business. A lot of people that I've talked to in this uh, industry try to go after the one, like I'm just going after one event. And with the cold email, you can do that. So you're getting additional ones. But you want to focus on having two to three key clients that have venues going on all the time. And then you're really just a value adder to them. They're, they're part of the package. They're the people that actually do uh, the events. They have like 100 weddings going on per quarter. And they just have you as their kind of photography guy because um, you're, you know, you're just personable, you're good and you can actually bring them income as well. So we'll show you how to do that. Now, once you have your client, you wanna make sure you have DocuSign, you send a one-time contract, and that's the other good thing. If you have two or three clients, you only have to do this once, versus every event where you have to like go through the legality and you show how like you've, you've done a contract. But you use DocuSign, it's an easy email you send over to them, they sign it right back. Uh, it's the simplest method you can do instead of like typing it all up, you know, you know doing all, scanning, <laughs> which blows, but um, you want to make sure you're talking to your client over the phone. It's really key to build rapport first. You let them know the types of events you do, so it also jogs their memory in case they, they know anybody or they have more events in the future. You tell them what you can provide, and you want to make sure that you are a value adder. 
and not a distraction. You, they want to make sure that you are going there, you introduce yourself, and then you're kind of the gray man, where you're kind of on the side, you are uh, getting people excited, they take the photos, you're getting paid, they're getting paid, um, and then when you, at the end, everybody has left the party feeling good, they feel good because you weren't like taking up any of their time um, or causing any distractions for them as well, or the main thing, the, the if it's like, say, a... Uh, concert, you're not taking away from the concert. You're taking, you're basically adding value on the side there. You're an extra value add as part of the package of the event as a total. So that's kind of the mindset you want to be in. And then afterward, you send an invoice. You can do a price by hour, 200 to 400 bucks per hour, or you do a fixed price. Usually, what I like to do is give them a 10% discount, first time customer, uh, to earn their business. And then, like, you can even keep scaling it up. Um, and then they want to use you for good, they keep using you for multiple events, and that's very key. Okay, so I think that's good right now. We're a little over than 10 minutes, uh, but uh, but yeah, I hope that was really, really good info. Definitely check out um, our recommendations. We'll put in the description below. Um, anybody can be successful with this, guys. This is definitely a new area that I really recommend you, um, if you're serious about making some, some big income, if you're looking for either an income to replace your current job, or you're looking for a side hustle, or like, you know, just, yeah, want to live a, a better life. I would seriously recommend it. Um, go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, again, we appreciate it. Subscribe to this channel if you want more similar videos on photo booth entrepreneurship. And I will catch you guys next time, all right? Take care. Oh, yeah, and check out the Facebook page. There's some good content there, and I'll give you some free templates. All right, cheers.